What's up, guys? One of the terms that you're going to learn, um, or you're going to hear at least, uh, shortly after becoming a uh, what we may refer to as a fragrance enthusiast, if you will, you're going to hear the word sillage. Now, some of you I know, are gonna, when you see it, you're going to say sillage. All right? <laughs> I get it. That's how it looks. All right? But it's pronounced sillage. All right? And sillage, that, or that scent trail, or that scent bubble that you leave when you wear a fragrance. Right? I'm going to talk about some fragrances in my collection that have the best scent trail of all the fragrances in my collection. I mean, these fragrances really linger around in the air and have people kind of, you know, caught up in your fragrance web, if you will. <laughs> I got five fragrances that do that just about better than any other fragrance that I've come across. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. So let's talk about it. What's going on YouTube? I'm Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy, man. Listen, if you like looking good and smelling great, I think you found the right channel because I talk about both. You know, I give you guys style tips on how you can look your best. And I also, of course, talk about how you can smell your best each and every day. So if you're interested in doing that, which I hope you are, then I hope you won't mind hitting subscribe. And make sure you hit the bell icon as well so that way when I upload new content, you're going to get notified. So guys, as you heard me say in the intro, we're talking about uh, scent trail or the sillage or the bubble that you know the your fragrance leaves when you wear your fragrance man this is something that a lot of people have um, interest in you know fragrances that do a good job of kind of leaving that a nice scent trail so people that walk by you or that kind of come into your vicinity um, are able to really pick up that fragrance that you're wearing and like I said I got some fragrances that really linger around in the air for a long time uh, for the most part these are some fragrances that perform well on my skin as well and it doesn't hurt that of course they leave that nice scent trail behind me or when I pass by somebody so I'm going to go ahead and run the intro we're going to come back I'm going to talk about five in my collection that do it really really well so if you want to see what's on the list you know the routine keep it locked right here The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we are back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's jump right into this video. <sighs> guys, this first fragrance that I want to talk about, I, I did a video about this fragrance and another fragrance from this brand. And I actually hopefully have another video that I'm going to be doing pretty soon here where I'm going to highlight some other fragrances from this brand. But the brand is Mind Games. And this first fragrance up that I want to talk about is called Double Attack double attack and man when i tell you that this fragrance is good seriously what a gross understatement that is this fragrance is phenomenal and it performs really well it jumps off of my skin works really well with my body chemistry and when i've worn this fragrance out and about it is just one of those fragrances that really stops traffic i'm telling you guys listen let me tell you what's in it bitter orange all right you're gonna get some bitter orange you're gonna get some cinnamon in here you're gonna get this note of agave that gives this really kind of seductive almost tropical twist to this fragrance and you know when it dries down some sandalwood in here as well dark chocolate this this stuff is amazing it is truly amazing and i think i have a discount code for this if i can remember i'll put it up across the screen because i can't remember what it is right now but listen guys mind games this brand has some really really good fragrances in their portfolio i'm gonna be talking about it more uh hopefully here in the near future but if you're looking for a fragrance that again will stop traffic and really have people kind of caught up in your scent trail the sillage of this fragrance is absolutely second to none and it smells absolutely phenomenal and it smells very unique so check it out from the brand of Mind Games. This one is called Double Attack. All right, guys, the next fragrance on this list. Now, this one honestly kind of caught me uh, a little bit for, uh, as a surprise when I talk about uh, this particular category and thinking about this fragrance. But, you know, this is one I had in my collection. I wore it a few times and I kind of put it aside. And here recently, I wore it a few times and the reaction that I got was crazy. I got a lot of compliments on this fragrance. Seriously, multiple compliments that day because 
again, this is one that really lingers in the air and it attracts people. It's from the brand of Frederick Mole, and this is called Iris Poudre. Iris Poudre. Now, this is a fragrance that not a lot of people talk about, all right? But this is one of those clean, floral, and aldehydic fragrances. It's very clean. Um, as I said, aldehydes are in here. You have some beautiful white florals. You have some uh, some jasmine in here. There's some magnolia. There's some yangling. Of course, iris is in here. Musk, sandalwood. So again, very, very clean floral fragrance. And I know sometimes guys kind of shy away from the florals, but don't do that, guys. I'm telling you, you're making a, a grave mistake uh, by shying away from fragrances that have that are heavy in florals because again a lot of times florals when you combine with those with aldehydes just gives this very clean and inviting um kind of scent profile and that's exactly what this is man i got so many compliments when i wore this fragrance it lingered in the air and got people's attention so check it out this is from the brand of frederick mall again this one is called iris poudre all right guys the next fragrance up on the list this stuff is absolutely dynamite I was in love with this from the first time I put my nose on it. It's from the brand of Daniel Hossier, and this is called Ombre Tabac. This is Ombre Tabac. Now, I did a video some time ago where I talked about fragrances that kind of give that apple pie vibe, like fragrances like Wajan, um, uh, fragrances like Ombre Nargile uh, from Hermes. There's a lot of fragrances that give that you know, apple pie kind of vibe to fragrances, and this is one of them, but this is different. I'm going to tell you the note in here. There's amber in here. Uh, there's tobacco leaf uh, in here as well. There's bergamot. There's incense in the opening. But again, I think the game changer in this particular fragrance is, isn't that this fragrance, I'm sorry, is the tobacco leaf. The tobacco leaf in here really does something different from a lot of those uh, aforementioned fragrances that really sets it apart in that category of fragrances that kind of give me that apple pie vibe. And this one guys you got to get your nose on this stuff again another fragrance that just works well with the body chemistry for me jumps off of the skin and people always seem to ask what you're wearing when you're wearing this because it really like i said it performs well and it lingers around in the air when you walk past people all right so anyway guys check this one out as well this is from the brand of daniel hosier and this one is called ombre tobacco all right, guys, this next fragrance, my gosh. I'm just going to go ahead and show you the bottle and get into it. This is from the brand of Uniki Luxury, and this is called Crush On Me. This is called Crush On Me. Listen, <laughs> this thing right here, all the fragrances from this brand are straight to pop from. So, you know, it performs like a monster. And this is probably one of the best performers in the entire group. You know, even from that brand, this is one of the best performers, man. If you like patchouli, you got to get your nose on this fragrance. So you get patchouli in here, but it is sweetened up by some caramel and you get some ginger in the opening to kind of break up the monotony of these heavy and darker notes to give a, this fragrance a little bit of vibrancy. But this thing is phenomenal. And when you talk about scent trail and you talk about CIs, this is one of the best in class. So guys, you got to get your nose on this one if you like sweeter scent profiles because again, the caramel in there is really prominent um, and that mixes with that patchouli. So it can really, really get um, loud and perform well. But we talk about a nice scent trail that people really, in my experience, have really enjoyed when I've worn this fragrance. This is one of the best. Again, it's from the brand of Uniki Luxury. And this one is called Crush On Me. All right, guys. And last but not least on this list, this one is going to come as no surprise. But this uh, particular fragrance is from the brand of Nishane, and this one, of course, is Hashibat. Hashibat, one of the best performing fragrances in my entire collection. Um, if you are new to the channel, I, I won't tell the story again, but I talked about a story where during the pandemic, I got compliments on this fragrance through mask, all right? That's how well this thing performs, and that's how much it lingers in the air. And it is quite a scent trail that this fragrance leaves. Of course, you have some pineapple on here, oak moss, and patchouli are probably the main notes to my nose, but this stuff is phenomenal. It does kind of put you in the Creed Aventus um, mindset when you smell the fragrance, but it's different. There's enough differences in here uh, to warrant it where if you had that fragrance and you love it, this wouldn't be redundant. But again, when you talk about scent trails, scent bubbles, and a fragrance really lingering in the air, this, of course, is probably one of the best. So check it out from the brand of Nishane. Again, this one is called Hasibat. 
But that is it, guys. That is my time. What are some fragrances you have in your collection that leave a great scent trail, man? I would love to hear from you guys down in the comment section. And as always, I sincerely appreciate your time and your attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do. And I sincerely appreciate that. Then don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you're sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use this information to find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good, and of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good, keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.